I'll have a look and see whether I can label it. M0 FXB uh, hand tech. Take a look here. You've probably not seen one of these before. TID radio M11. It's a 16 channel radio. I've just managed to get it onto my PC and programmed it using this device, which is a TID Bluetooth programmer. Uh, now, I think the firmware is not completely finished, but I managed to send some frequencies to it, although I couldn't actually see it on the PC. It did actually do it. So let me just see if I can get a contact. M0FXB. You there, Steve? M0FXB? Let's try again. You can see the signal meter channel. If you hold down this button, you get NOAA weather channel. CTCT -C -T is set. M6GYZ. Yeah, how are you doing? I wonder if you can give me an audio check. I'm testing out a, a radio, which is quite an unusual one. TID Radio M11. It, it, although it has a screen, it, the screen comes through plastic. So I see like green writing emerging through plastic, but it's, a, it's actually a PMR FRS and 400 megs uh, PMR radio, two watts. Back to you. Let me know about the audio. M0 FXB, I'm about one foot away from the radio. It definitely works. So I'll show you how I managed to get a channel yeah, on there. Yeah, you're coming through. Um, yeah, it's coming through okay. The, you can tell you're, you're, you're a fair distance from the... The microphone, but yeah, it's, it's uh, reaching and it's good. M6GYZ, M0FXB, go ahead. I'll just see if I can get a bit closer. M0FXB, test, test, test. I've got it in my hand right up close to my mouth now, and then I'll put it back. But I am, it is, I am recording a video. Back to you. M0 FXB again um, about a foot away from it now well I know that radio quite well and I could do with a refresh on it actually so if you've got any questions um, you know drop me a line M0 FXB at outlook.com or message me on YouTube uh, it'd be nice to dig mine out and uh, remind myself have you got the the model that has APRS receive and transmit is it, is it the latest model back to you working great It's got a clip. It's got a belt uh, clip. Put in the, uh, put in the, on the, radio the back pulls off. And it's quite stiff, but it's got a small little camera with, battery uh, in there. But um, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's what I got it for, really, because it's, um, it, it's something to play with. Trying to I've, get this um, off. Both on type connector. USB C. It's got these charging things here, so I'm guessing you can charge it with a drop-in charger. I've spent a lot of time on there. I think I've spent about 40 minutes, and that was it. When you turn off and on, just quickly, you see all that it's got Bluetooth, DCS, it even says COM. Yeah, we'll give you a shout up on that one, over. Up and down on the channels, you look up and down. What? Go back to Paul, my friend, there. Yeah, thanks for that. I, I, I was surprised I managed to actually program this radio um but i managed to find a little trick but yeah definitely drop me a line i'll stand by and i want to make a video of how i actually managed to get the frequencies to change on this device it's called a tid radio td m11 a bit like um yeah that movie that was out is it m5 i don't know but anyway <laughs> Uh, so thanks a lot, and I'm going to get on and um, just work out again how I actually managed to do it. 7-3, all the best. There you are. I'm going to work it out how I managed to get it to transmit, yeah, but I'll, I'll quickly say... Line, and um, perhaps uh, you can give me some point. 7-6-G-Y-Z. 
seven three. Take care. I'll quickly say how I did it, and then I'll do a proper video. Cheers, seven three. You can see it goes red there when you transmit green on receiver. I'm really surprised on that. So what I did was I selected the radio. You press the, the flat lines here and then you go to all the different radio selections. You press remote control, then mode list. And I went down to, there is one there at the bottom called M11. So I selected that, okay. Then I went add here, I went add. And you get the 60. Now there aren't, if you look at the settings, they're not actually showing any Bluetooth stuff, yeah? And it doesn't pair or show Bluetooth unless, because what I'd like to have done is turned on the Bluetooth. Ah, here it is here. Found it, long press. Now, now I should be able to get the Bluetooth on. Uh, battery say voice, timeout and squelch. Let's get the squelch uh, to about two, okay. And I'm going to save that. Oh, we need to give it a name when you save. So if I can get that to the radio. So I add in channel information. You add the frequencies you want to add. There's only 16 channels. Optional features, Bluetooth on, and then click right. Now you think it's not going to work. Uh, now it's actually working better. See, it said it failed there, but I, after a couple of tries, it did actually write it. So give it a go and a, a more, another video to follow.